I saw Harper there. Uh, yeah, I, yeah the... twisted his ankle. Yeah, I twisted his ankle doing some stuff. I don't think it's anything serious. He wasn't going to do anything in the spring game, so he could not do anything on crutches now. <laughs> what's the latest on uh, Jacoby Hunter? Uh, you know, we're just kind of waiting to see um, kind of what's going to happen with him right now. Um, you know, we kind of anticipate having him back, but we'll see how it plays out. He's got a little personal issues we're dealing with right now, and so we told him he could have some time away, and uh, he asked for a little bit more, and so we'll grant it to him and then kind of see what happens at that point. Okay. Has Sebastian, or I'm sorry, has uh, McClure now yeah, moved he, back to corner? Yeah, I mean, he's on the depth chart. We'll see. I mean, we'll see. All that's going to depend on, you know, who comes in and who can do what. And, you know, uh, Darius White, is he ready to play? I mean, there's just all those decisions that we have to make uh, in the fall in terms of, you know, who's healthy and who are the best four guys. And, you know, let's make sure we don't have our best four guys playing the same position. Steph and, has sort of been moved from one spot to the other without ever actually playing it, right? Yeah, yeah, so we'll see, we'll see. I mean, he's, he's bounced around a little bit and I wouldn't, you know, put too much on the depth chart now. We'll do you, just kind do of you feel like he's out. the guy, though, that gives he's, you the flexibility to jump yeah, around? Yeah, he's the one that can do it. I mean, from a, from a body, uh, standpoint, you know, from a body type standpoint, and then from an athleticism and probably a maturity standpoint as well. I think mm -hmm. he's the one, the one guy that could probably do both. Is defensive tackle still a position where you have to wait and see? You've got nobody at this point who's healthy who's ever played in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah, we're, we're uh, you know, that's going to be the big position that's going to be up in the air, you know, for us. And we <coughs> talked a little bit about it. I mean, in terms of getting Moose back and what can he do when we get him back. And, you know, that's why we felt the need to go out and add. You know Trevor Kelly and David Davis and, and those guys because um, you know we just weren't sure you know what we we're going to have. The good thing is we you know we feel like Marcus Manley is going to be a good player. We think Wolfie's really going to develop into a good player. Uh, we think Tony McCarry's you know making a move and starting to pick some things up. And you know obviously um, you know those guys have a chance to be good players. But they just haven't done it yet. How's Kelly done? You know, good, good. He's, he needs to probably get a little bit better shape. We know we knew that coming in. He's a little heavy. Needs to come, you know, report probably 290. He's well over 315 probably now. And, you know, he probably needs to drop 20 pounds. And I think when he do that, when he does that, he'll be much more effective. He needs to give his weight to Wiffley. Is that it? <laughs> that'd be good. Yeah, if yeah. he could do that, that'd be a good thing. I'd give him some of mine too. Can you talk more about uh, Jalil's situation? Can you tell us any more about the surgery he had? Yeah, you know, I don't know much. Like I said the other day, I don't really know much about it. I mean, it was just... Uh, it was just a knee surgery to kind of make it easier for him uh, to get around and to, to alleviate some of the pain he's having in his knee. I think it was kind of a, a lack of cartilage in the knee and um, what they did when they went in there, I don't know exactly what. but uh, To a bone on bone going? Yeah, I think, I think to an extent. And I think he's feeling much better. You know, I think he's, uh, but he hadn't done much, you know, and he's, just, he's in the same boat. I mean, he's got to get in shape and, and get his weight down and, and uh, give himself a chance to become a player. Right now, are you uh, anticipating him being a part of the yeah, oh, yeah. mix in the fall yeah, camp? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, that's, but you never know. I mean, a guy comes off an injury. Some some guys come back. Other guys never come back. So we'll see. Tell me about your size at defensive tackle um, and just, you know, the, the weight that those guys have right now and how many pounds you like to see them put on. Well, I mean, the thing is, uh, like we talked about, I mean, Moose needs to lose some. Um, you know, Marcus is probably a little too heavy. He needs to lose some to an extent. You know, Tony's Tony's fine, I think, weight-wise. Trevor needs to probably lose a little bit. Um, you know, Jacoby probably needed to lose some. And so, I mean, it's just, you know how it is. It's just the same same thing. I mean, that's why you have summer weight programs. I mean, those guys will all be exactly where they're supposed to be when we report for, for camp. And, um, you know, that's that's what we'll do. Uh, really, starting on Monday, we'll start focusing on guys that gain weight, need to, you know, gaining weight, and guys that need to lose weight, losing weight, and uh, the focus will move from football to trying to get their, their bodies ready for, for summer, and then uh, in the summer, trying to do the same thing as we prepare for fall camp. But so it's a process, but it always Structurally, is. the moose is going to be okay, as far as you can tell? As far as I know, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're saying the surgery went well, and we'll just kind of see how he does. What uh, exactly is going to happen on Saturday? Um, you know, we're going to roll the football out there and see, see what happens, you know, uh, play a little football and then they've got a, you know, we'll have some breaks. You know, the thing about it is there's, you know, when, you, when you're an up-tempo offense, the problem you run into is, is, you know, spring games become a real pain in the rear end because, you know, when we were at Louisiana Tech, I think we ran, I don't know the exact number, but I think it was in the neighborhood of 75 plays in the first quarter of the, of the spring game one year. And so, you know, there's no rest. And so there's constant, you know, when you're playing against yourself, it's not like the other guys are resting. Yeah. You have 22 guys playing. 
so it's it's you know it's basically like playing 150 plays and so it's it's uh you know that's that's a bit of an issue so you know <laughs> We're going to try to do it based more a little bit more on series, uh, move the ball around, make sure we get all the, the zones of the field covered. You know, work on some little, some special situations and try to mix in a little fun as well, and you know, some interaction with some fans and that type of thing, and um, you know, try to make it a good experience. Do you have an idea of how many snaps you'd like to do? You know, 80 probably sounds like a good number. I mean, we'll go, we'll go back, see how healthy we are, and if there's any positions that we're, you know, we're running out of guys at, then that's what you do during those games. Is you, you know, if somebody goes down, you know, the bad thing is basically we have nine healthy offensive linemen, so it's not two complete groups. So when you're going as many plays as, as we can go, based on playing with the tempo, you know, there's just the guys just wear down, and that's when you start having injuries and all that. So. We'll make sure we take care of them, but we get our work done at the same time. It's not going to be a, a game as such. No, no, not going to be. I mean, scored. And yeah, we'll have we'll have some scoring, that kind oh, of stuff. Okay. But I mean, it's not going to mean much, you know. Calfani's at track. Yeah, yeah, he'll be at track. Has having a full year with the, the strength with this strength and conditioning program. Do you think that's contributed to the fact that you haven't really had a whole lot of injuries? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, I think that's been the biggest thing, honestly, this spring is just, you know, I think guys are learning to work through Nick's probably a little bit better. And uh, at the same time, I think that we're in better physical condition, bigger, stronger, faster. Uh, so many guys were forced into action last year with, uh, you know, so many young players in particular that really physically weren't ready to play. And so those guys had a tendency to go down as well. So, you know, the, the bad thing about injuries is there's a domino effect, there always is. And uh, when you have a couple of injuries, typically, you know, somebody else has to go more and then they become injured. And, you know, it all has to do with fatigue. And so we've organized our practices to, to try to prevent that from happening. We've broken up the team periods as much as we can. We've gone a lot more live this spring than we did last spring. But it hasn't, um, you know, we've, we've stayed much more healthy. And so we just got to get through the game Saturday and, and get in a good spot. How's Avery doing? Good, good. He's, you know, just having some issues with with his feet. I mean, just a little sore at times, and you know, just working through it. Some days he feels pretty good, other days he doesn't. It's about like we expected. I mean, we kind of expected that this spring we might get a little bit of something out of him. We didn't expect to get too much. And, He'll do something Saturday, but not much. You know, we'll see how he feels. You know, I, I would think he probably would, but we'll we'll see how it progresses. Will, will Saturday all be um, scrimmage plays, or will it be individual? Uh, yeah, all be, yeah, no, it'll be all scrimmage. All, all scrimmage yeah. plays of some sort. Yeah. So yeah, we'll put some special teams mixed in. Special teams, and you said, you said something with the fans? Are gonna yeah, there'll be some interactive stuff with the fans and okay. you know all kinds of stuff. Can I give you a couple plays? Oh, yeah, draw some up, we'll, we'll run them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's going Go on with place picking? Um, in terms of Saturday or just in general? In, in terms of who is maybe standing out a little bit? Oh, you know, I think, I think that, um, you know, Noah Beto was real good early, you know, and I think, uh, it, probably the consistency that you'd like to see hasn't happened yet. You know, I think um, there's been some days where he hasn't been maybe as sharp as he'd like to be. <coughs> Langford's the same thing. I mean, Langford's got a huge leg. He's uh, he can really hit the ball, and he's got a chance to be a really good one. Um, just got to be more consistent. Uh, Matt Anderson's growing and, and kind of going through the same things. I mean, at times he looks really good. So you know that that's a battle that you know we kind of anticipated that during the spring. That there would be some ups and downs just because they're young and, and somewhat inexperienced. Um, again, summer will be big for them, and as we put in move into fall camp, we'll put them in a lot of stressful situations and see which guys react the best to that and make a decision. Does Langford's game experience help at all? Yeah, I, mean, I think so. I think so. I mean, I think I think it's all. It's the funny thing about those guys. It's all confidence. You know, that's. That's what it is. I mean, the, the mentally tougher the kickers, the better they are. And that was the great thing about Vince last year. I mean, he was a mentally tough kid. Uh, you know, he had a lot of confidence. And when something didn't go his way, he reacted incredibly well and just believed in himself and grinded through it. And that's, uh, you know, that that's unfortunately rare in kickers a lot of times. And this group's just maturing and getting more confident. And, uh, you know, we'll find a good kicker out of the bunch. You'll pick one rather than maybe have one who does PATs and one who does We'll see. Long yeah, we'll see. Or... I mean, I, we'll see. You know, I think, you know, again, Langford's leg strength gives him the an obvious edge when it comes to longer kicks. But, right. yeah, I'd rather have one kicker. You don't you know, give him, with two place kickers give him, No, given my preference, I'd like to have one kicker. But, you know, we'll see how it plays out. All right. Thank you, Sonny. Thank you, guys. Yeah, okay, appreciate it.